Thank you so much. Before I kind of get started, I just want to say, does anybody else feel really moved? I have just felt so emotional listening to everybody speak. It's been so beautiful. So I just really, really, I feel hugely grateful, hugely humbled and honored to be in this space. Yesterday, I was having a conversation with somebody and um, she asked me, who do you want to spend time with? And I said, I want to spend time with visionary leaders who are making a positive change. And then today, here I am, and I'm just like, whoa, okay, instant manifestation. So thank you so much for that invitation. And thank you all so much for the energy that you have brought to your, to your talks. And what I would love to do is just take a moment to close our eyes once again. This is really just for my benefit. <laughs> close our eyes once again. And I feel that we have been rooted, really beautifully rooted. So I would love for us to just bring our energy to just above the crown of the head. And begin to imagine just a beautiful white golden light just hovering above your head. And on the next inhalation, I want you to just invite that light in through the crown, past your third eye. in through the throat chakra and down into the heart. And allow that heart, allow your heart to just be filled with that beautiful white golden light. With every inhalation, just allowing that to expand more deeply throughout your entire body. Bathing every cell, every muscle, every sinew. So your whole body is just filled with light. And whenever you're ready, just allow your eyes to gently open. That was nice. Thank you. It's been really interesting, as I said, listening to everybody. I too, like Rick, or like everybody, listen to Vicky's instructions to not prepare and just allow the transmission to come through. And what I heard when I was listening was lots of people talk about fearlessness and moving through the world without fear. And it was interesting to hear those words echoed around everybody as they spoke because before I began speaking and listening to Vicky introduce me, my heart was pounding so much in my chest. How do I follow these people? What do I have to say that's really going to cut through, that people are gonna hear, that people are gonna feel? And the fear was so real. And as I've looked around the world in this time of lockdown, I haven't just seen fear from the people who 
I don't align with 100%. I've seen everybody's fear come up, including my own. I think we might have lost you. Are you frozen, Suze? Is she frozen for everybody else? <laughs> at least she's got a beautiful face to look at. Oh, sorry, Suze, you froze then, babe. Oh, to say, who are the leaders who are really going to step up? There has been so much running around in my head and so much that I've seen running around. in my journey isn't to move forward without fear. The goal right now is to make friends with my fear. It's to observe my fear and know that that is not me know that that is not the essence of who I am. It's not, the, it's not the I am that I am. But the fear I feel and the fear that I observe in other people isn't them either. It's the small part of us that was hurt many, many years ago. It's the small part of us or the younger part of ourselves who was taught not to, touch the, not to touch the oven because it might be hot, not to walk out in the road because there may be a car coming, not to speak to strangers because that might be dangerous, not to trust people because they might not give you their squeaks. It's that part of me that feels afraid. And when I try to banish it, or when I try to admonish other people who are acting from that space of hurt, of woundedness, from their younger self, I go against everything that I know to be true, which is in the beginning and in the end, there is only love. And the goal right now, rather than to move forward without fearlessness, is to see how much I can love my fear. How much I can love all of myself. Love myself in spite of the fear. Because self-love is the ultimate act of divine self-expression, and for me, is the catalyst for all positive impact. And as a leader, and somebody who wants to make a difference, somebody who wants to inspire and lift people up, it starts with knowing that you're okay, in spite of the imperfections, in spite of the heart pounding. And so uh, it comes down to that really basic thing, I suppose. It all starts with love. And so that, I've got no idea whether that was eight minutes, but that is what I want to leave you with. <laughs>